Hi everybody, it's Claire. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream for you guys. And I've been using this for the past week and today I thought I would do a full review on it for you guys as well as a demonstration on how I apply it and just to show you the before and after of how this product looks. I picked it up from my local Walmart for just under $8. So retail wise, it is a great product for the price you're getting for daily wear. I do appreciate that it is very accessible. It comes in five different shades and the shade that I picked up is in the light to medium sheer tint. So straight off the packaging it says it is an 8-in-1 beauty bomb skin perfecter and it contains an SPF of 30. The amount of product that comes in this tube is 30 milliliters with one fluid ounce. So the style packaging it's just like a regular style tube. It actually reminds me of sunscreen a little bit the way the packaging is and the best way I recommend to apply BB cream is just by putting it on with your clean fingers. I just like to use this stuff to go quickly out the door with. The best part about BB creams is that they are meant to save you a lot of steps. They contain skincare properties to help improve the condition of your skin over time. It moisturizes, it hydrates, and then it's going to color correct as well as give us give some coverage so it's meant to save you time and definitely designed for the girls who are quick on the go headed to the office don't have much time in the morning highly recommended for mothers who just don't have the time in the morning so again I just use with my clean fingertips I'm just going to apply about a dime size amount to start with and what I do is I just warm it up in my hands because sometimes it can be surprisingly a little cold in the morning if you're not ready for that. I don't have any makeup on right now. I don't even have moisturizer. I'm going straight in for the BB cream. I want to see and I want to show you guys how it hydrates, how it's going to look purely on its own. What I'm going to do is start on this side of the face and I'm going to just pat it in once it's nice and warmed up and I like most of my coverage on my cheek area and up into my under eye which is where I tend to get dark circles from lack of sleep lately. It feels like a lightweight moisturizer and truly when I apply it, when I first applied this, I just thought it looked like second skin. It's very sheer. You definitely can add another layer on the areas where you feel like you need a little more coverage and for me that is a bit of this area here where I have acne scarring, I'll show you compared to the other side here. So I have a bit of acne scarring on the side of my face. Prior to buying this, I want you guys to know if you don't have it, that it's not going to be a full coverage foundation, foundation by any means. It's more of a tinted moisturizer. So as you can see here, what it did to some of my acne scarring, here's what it looks like without anything. As you can see on this side, it provides a little bit of shine. So since I do have normal dry skin, I do like that aspect about it, that it's very moisturizing and I don't mind that subtle bit of shine to the skin. I would say if you have oily skin, uh, I would definitely recommend giving it a little touch of powder on top to lock it in. I, I probably would say that the longevity of the product would not last as long throughout the day uh, if you do have oily skin, it might slip around a little bit because it is has uh, it is a water base and it does have those moisturizing properties to it. I know that Maybelline just came out with a line of BB cream for oily skin specifically, so that might be something you want to consider if you if you do have problems with oily skin. So I'm going to continue to apply this to the rest of my face. just really helped even me out quickly. It probably will take only less than a minute to apply that in the morning with your fingers. So if you are a gal on the go who needs to just quickly pop something on, this is a great product for you. If you have normal to dry skin, I think it's really important to be aware of the fact that it is very hydrating. As you can see, I have a bit of a dewy finish here. And also that it is not going to completely cover acne scars. You might need a little concealer if you have concerns about certain problem areas or if you're looking for something that is going to have more coverage. This is more on the natural side. I really want to emphasize that before you go out and or think about purchasing it. I'm very happy with this and I'm 
definitely already incorporating it into my everyday makeup routine. So you guys, please let me know what you think of this product or maybe what your favorite BB cream is. I would love to hear it in the comment section below. I hope you all are having such a great day. Let me know if there's any other products you'd like me to review. I'm gonna start doing a lot more of those on my channel. Um, I really enjoy doing these kind of breakdown beauty products on here for you guys. So let me know what you think and thank you guys so much for being here. I look forward to seeing you all next time. Take care, bye-bye.